hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ayo Bablo and i'm in my corner thanks for tuning in if it's your very first time welcome 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 and if you are a returning subscriber thanks for always coming back i'm glad that you always do in this video i'm going to be talking to you about what it feels like studying data science at Tessa university you know what you should expect what you need to know and the realities in general, I think it's just going to be a little bit of my own opinion and a little bit of advice if you want it. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this out there again. It's my own opinion. It's what I think. You know, as they say, experience is the best teacher. So I just think that you lot can learn from my own experience, you know, basically what it feels like if you're in this position or if you're about to be in this position. Nothing serious anyway. So, you know, without further ado, we're going to jump right into the video. Before then, if you are yet to subscribe, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button below. Also, turn on your notification bell so that you can be the first to know when I drop a new video. Let's jump right into it. <music> In my last video, I already highlighted some of the coursework you're going to be undertaking, you know, the tools you're going to be using, and all of those things. But um, before then, let me just go back into what my own expectations were before I came. Um, I just felt like, you know, I was coming to the UK, you know, the educational system was better. So in my head, I was just like, when I come here, when they teach me, I will know it. Ah, uh -uh, it's not all you go people. When they teach me, definitely, I will know it. I will be good. I will be this. I will be that. And of course, they are teaching us, you know, but it is still not just the same. Even though they say that if you don't even have any knowledge, you can come and all of that. You're going to be taught from the beginning. You know, like I said, you're going to be taught from the beginning. You're going to be taught from the basics, but it's still not the same thing. You're literally rushing through, you know, a, you're literally rushing through the module and, you know, you have other things to do and all of that. So I feel like even before I came, you know, I learned the basics of Python and all of that, so I could use Python to an extent. But in reality, if I knew, I wouldn't have started, you know, with Python. It helped me. It's important. I usually even tell people, you know, I think Python is like the address of it all. So at least no basic Python before you come. It is important. But I'm going to come to that shortly where I said I wouldn't have, you know, invested so much time in learning python that much now i've come to realize now that i'm doing like my first year i've come to realize that you need much more than python to actually be a data analyst or a data scientist you need much more before i came i did not even know that honestly i did not know that it might have just like you know no python or know how to visualize with using python and all of that you know everybody thinks you know being a data analyst okay not everybody but some people think being a data analyst or being a data scientist you have to be coding, you have to be doing this and that, but it's not the same. There are a lot more other things that you need to know before you actually, you know, be a proper data analyst or a data scientist. Again, this is just my own opinion. This is what I think. <laughs> I'm just going to put that disclaimer out there, but it is what I think anyway. Now, let's take it to the coursework. You, you're going to be learning how to use Python, obviously. You're going to be learning um, R. You're going to be learning Power BI, you're going to be learning, you know, HTML, JavaScript, all of that I said in the last video. If you are yet to watch it, I'm going to put the link here again so that you can click and watch it. Of course, you're going to be learning all of that. But in the reality of things, just like I said, you are literally rushing through the whole module. And you're not just taking like a single, you know, Maybe a single two. You're doing three course modules together to and put effort into the three of them. And the reality of things is that at the end of your coursework or anything, it does not automatically make you a data scientist or a data analyst. Of course, you have gone through all these modules, you've gone through how to use these tools, but there are just far more other things that you need to know. And what I think is that, of course, you're going to be introduced to all of those tools just for people to, you know, find their strength and, you know, find what they want to focus on, which is good but you're literally learning a whole lot of things maybe in the first semester you've learned how to use power bi or any other thing in the second semester you're probably learning how to use python and once you know now in the second semester you're focusing on how to use python more it means that you're losing mastery of the power bi you have learned and that's just the fact that's why i think you're losing mastery of it so it's leaving you now let's come to think of it you're learning how to use power bi in like maybe 12 weeks you are learning how to use r in 12 weeks you're learning how to use python in 12 weeks at the same time 
of course you could have an idea on, on how to use them and stuff but you know you're not actually gaining mastery of any one of these especially because it's coursework you have to like do it to pass and all of that and in the second semester you have dropped those tools you are learning new tools so automatically you are losing mastery a little bit of the initial tools you have learned and in the reality of things you cannot learn python in 12 weeks or in the whole semester no people have been doing this since for like two three years and they are still on it you know trying to know better and stuff so i just honestly feel like you are being taught don't get me wrong but now my point the point i'm trying to drive at is that you need to put extra effort by yourself you need it you know i think they said maybe 60 percent to be taught in class 120 percent in self-study and this and this and this and your master student nobody's baby feeding you so the bulk of the work lies on you if you want to actually you know be a data scientist and be or you be a data scientist or be a data analyst so that's what that's just the point i'm trying to drive at you need to put in extra efforts they are just literally scratching the surface for you you are the one that needs to like go deep so don't have the expectation that whatever you are taught is enough for you to be a data analyst or a data scientist it doesn't work that way you need to put in extra effort you need to be intentional another thing i've learned in this one year is that you know while i was applying for my internship i've got to realize that what the industry needs is far more than what you're being taught in school is far more than that school is literally just scratching the surface for you you have a whole lot more things to do you're just being introduced to how to use these tools you know and things like that there are other things that the industry needs that maybe you have probably not even heard if you go check what the job description of a data analyst is you just look at what what is this what is this what is this you literally have a whole lot of other things to learn that the industry needs another thing is that sql is important but like i said you're just being taught briefly but it is actually important you need to know it to get into the industry you need to know how to you know use database how to query database and all of that but you know in school you're just literally giving csv files or you know ready-made files or you know just um you know data a data set that is almost clean to work on and the industry <laughs> you're not going to be you're actually going to be working with a proper database so now it's not left to you to now put in that extra effort to know all of these things even with so many other tools like that you now need to actually dig deeper into it and what is being used in the industry and how you're going to be able to apply them i feel like this video is all over the place but you get what i'm trying to say you actually need to put in extra effort that is what i've learned you need to do the extra work far more than what you have been taught in school so now let me come back to the reason why i said i wouldn't have learned python i feel like um you know Python is deep, but let me say, what you can use Python for is wide, is wide and, you know, based on my own experiences and, you know, what I've got to learn and know, you actually need to know the basic things first, even before you start plunging into Python and stuff, you need to know your basic mathematics or statistics, it is very important, there's some statistical terms that you need to get yourself familiar with, so that when it is being said, even in Python, you have to, you know, Python, you are, you are doing regression, correlation, you are doing, you know, precision, accuracy, and all of that when it comes to machine learning. And these are statistical terms. Some of, many of these things are statistical terms. So you actually need to know your statistical terms. You need to know basic mathematics. You even need to know how to use Excel, be it basic or advanced. You need to know Excel. It's very important. There's some data analysis job that they're just asking you to, you know, they are telling that you're going to be working with Excel, advanced Excel or anything like that. So you need to know your Excel very well. That's what I think. And based on my research, also you need to know your SQL, like I said earlier on. You need to not, then you now need to know like a data visualization tool, Power BI or Tableau. You need to know it well. You cannot proceed to knowing a programming language be it Python or R. So I just think that this these things are the steps that one should actually follow. If you go into Python straight, it might work for some people, but honestly, once you know these basic things, it will be easier for you to apply it. Is similar you have a knowledge of it you have a knowledge about how these things work once you already know the basics if you get what i mean so that's my own that's why i think those are the, even the technical skills now let's not come to the soft skills that you need you need to be able to communicate well whatever data you're visualizing or whatever you're working on you need to be able to communicate you need to also know data storytelling how are you able to tell the story in a connected way and all of those things also you know, develop your critical thinking your problem solving skills then in that same light you also need to have good presentation skills 
is more than just being able to work with you know with the technical tools you need to be able to you know tell it because i've realized that you you're not just you're not just working behind the scene most times you need to be able to relate with stakeholders if you go into the job description or if you check other youtube videos of data analysts and you see what they actually do you know that it's far more than knowing how to code or far more than doing some of those basic stuff you need to put in extra i think that's just like the main idea behind this video to so just let you know that you need to do extra work one year master's degree program is not enough for you it's not just enough for you you need to be able to put in extra effort and just like i said earlier on if you follow those steps i feel like it's going to help better you should start from like the basic things don't just go into like the complex things it's not going to work that way no basic things once you know basic things it will be easier for you when you're learning the complex stuff you'll be able to put them together and have a better understanding that's just what i think i hope you just understand what i'm trying to say obviously i'm gonna say it again you are going to be taught from the basic things but you're going very fast and aside that even if you're taught that way you need to put in extra effort you need to do extra work you need to go the extra mile for you to be you know to be good at this i'm also not there yet in fact now that i've come to realize a lot of this by myself i'm now going to like start from this scratch going to know basic things how to you know put them together so that when it's time for me to like understand complex things i'm not gonna have any problem so this video is not to scare you or you not to any way say that so we are not going to be taught well or you're not going to understand when you're being taught no don't get me wrong it's just you know preparing your mind to let you know you know i've said it countless times in this video that you need to put in extra effort so that is just what this video is about if you're somebody like me and you know that basic is not enough like you need to up your game it just reminds me of this you know matching song we used to sing in nigeria that good better best i'll never rest until my good is better until my better is best i'll never rest so if you like want to aim for the best of yourself the best version you know that you need to keep learning so that is just what it's about so if you are going to be taking anything out of this video it should be that and also if you're looking to study data science you should start early start now start learning things some of you that have emailed me you would have known that i tell you that before you come in do your own part of the work so that when you come in and when you're being taught it's going to be like a smooth ride for you and if you're already studying data science you can also you know create time to put in effort to learn one or two things by the side and learn the basics don't just rush don't just rush to be a python I mean, this is not say, this is not to say that python is not good or anything but don't rush don't rush the process learn the basics you should also know your nature that you'll be able to carve it out early if you want to be a data analyst you might not necessarily have to you know learn the coding aspects you're just good with you know the visualization tools and you know excel sql and all of those you might not necessarily have to but for the course work you know you have to pass it anyway so you have to know it you can have an idea and if you want to be a data scientist you know that you are doing more of those you are, you are doing more of the other parts where you have to code so just know where you're going to so that you can work your way around it so at least if you don't take anything out of this video you should take those few points out that's the end of this video <laughs> so i just that's just what i think anyway if you are if you're studying data science or data analytics and you have you know some of these expectations and the realities you've got to know you can put it in the comment section below if you have any other questions about you know what it actually means studying data science or you know anything just put it in the comment section below and reach out to me let's just you know discuss and all of those things and I think this could also I think this is also applicable to other coursework. You have to put in extra effort if you know that you actually want to be, uh, be excel at this and be great. Because I think back in the days, companies are even able uh, they are willing to build you and stuff. But now they are looking for ready-made people. They want you to be there. So whatever they are even teaching is just going to be they're just training you a little more. I guess they want ready-made people. So you've got to put in extra. You have to put in the extra work. That's going to be the end of this video if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe um like this video share comment and all that good stuff and i'm going to see you in my next video until then bye